Hello everyone, this is Siddharthan. This is the fifth video in our Python basics module in the machine learning course. If you are new to Python, do check out my previous videos. So in this video, we are going to discuss about one of the main topics in Python, which is operators. So basically there are six operators in Python. They are arithmetic operators, assignment operators, comparison operators, logical operators, identity operators and membership operators. Okay. So now let's discuss about each one of these separately. Okay. So first of all, arithmetic operators. Okay. So So arithmetic operators are the basic mathematical operations that we can perform on integers and floating points and other uh, data types. Okay, so let's discuss about this. So this is one of the most basic operators. So let's create a variable as number one. Okay, so num one is equal to let's say 20 and let's create another number. So the second variable is number two, which is 10. So we have two numbers. The first number, the value of first number is 20 and the second number is 10, right? So now let's see what are the different arithmetic operators so first is the addition operators okay so addition operator is nothing but the addition symbol so let's say create a variable called as sum and let's add the two numbers number one plus number two okay so this plus sign we are using right so this is called as the addition operators okay so similarly there are uh, other operators in arithmetic type okay so you can leave space here or you can remove the space here so both are the same so it is not a significant point so you can do both the ways so uh, first is the addition operator so let me print the sum okay so let's say that sum is equal to okay so this will print the sum of the numbers okay so this is the addition operator which is plus sign and there is subtraction operator so these are nothing but the basic math operations okay so let's create a variable as diff which represents a difference so number one minus number two so this minus symbol is the subtraction operators okay so print difference so this will find the difference of the two numbers and it will print it here so difference is given by tlf okay so the third arithmetic operator is product or multiplication so multiplication operators let's say, say that pro so pro means product so product is equal to number one so so i'll just write the code with the space you can write with space or without space so this symbol represents multiplication operators okay so let me print it so print product so product is equal to pro okay the fourth operator is division of course okay so division so let's write qo but which represents quotient so number one for division we use this forward slash okay so number one and number two and let's print the quotient Q U O T. okay so quotient here we need to print it okay so apart from these basic four operators there are also other arithmetic operators so they are exponent so how we can represent exponent is let's create a variable as exp which represents exponent so we want to so let's say that uh, we want to find the exponent as 20 power 10 okay so you can write that as number one you need to mention this multiplication operator twice. it means number one to the power of number two okay so you can do this or you just can remove the space between them okay so this will so this is similar to you know hmm, twenty power ten so it is similar to it okay now let's print the exponent okay so the exponent is equal to exp okay so then there is this modulus operation okay so let's create the variable as mod which is equal to number one 
number one so this modulus operator is represented by the percentage symbol so number two so this basically gives the remainder of this division so what happens here is so the this number two will be divided by number sorry number one will be divided by number two and instead of printing the quotient so the remainder will be printed okay so if you want to print the quotient we use the forward slash so if we want to print the remainder we use this percentage symbol okay so let me print reminder is equal to mode. okay so let's print this so these are the basic arithmetic operators in python okay so some which represents the addition operators and then we have seen the subtraction operators multiplication operator division operator exponential operators and modulus operators okay so these are the arithmetic operators so the second operators which we need to discuss is assignment operators okay so let's discuss about it now so this is assignment operators so assignment operators as the name suggests it's assigning values to a variable okay so let's say there is a variable a and the value of this variable is 5 so i am basically assigning the value 5 for uh, this variable a here equal to sign is the assignment operators okay so let's print this a of course it prints 5 okay so there are other assignment operators as well let's say that again a is equal to 5 and a is plus is equal to 5 so basically what this means is so this is similar to telling our python interpreter that a is equal to a plus 5 so instead of writing a plus 5 so we can write a plus is equal to 5 so this will add 5 to this a okay so if we print a now it will give us 10 because a is already 5 and we are adding 5 to it okay so let me print this and we have 10 okay so similarly there are also other things we can do with it so it's equal to let's say 2 okay so this is similar to um, b is equal to b minus 2 okay so let's print first of all we need to mention b right so let's say that b is equal to 5 and print b okay so these are some interesting assignment operators so we have seen two assignment operators there are other assignment operators as well so let me mention them in this text here okay so they are so the first one as we have seen it's plus is equal to and next we have seen this and the next operator so you can do it with the multiplication symbol so you can try all these with different variables okay so it is similar to all these things and i'll just mention it here so you do practice this so another one is the exponent okay and then we also have this for division and for modulus okay okay so okay hmm. so i have just shown you two basic uh, assignment operator so you can practice all these assignment operators okay so now we have discussed about arithmetic and assignment operators now mm -hmm. let's discuss about the comparison operators okay so comparison uh, operators basically compares two variables or two objects okay so three is comparison operators okay so let me create a variable a is equal to five and b is equal to let's say 10 okay so we need to compare these two variables let's see what are the symbols used to compare the two variables or two objects okay so let's print this comparison operators returns a boolean value so boolean means it outputs either true or false okay so these two things are only we are expecting so it won't print any function but sorry it won't print any values but it will print this boolean values which are either true or false so let's say that a is equal to 5 so i have mentioned two equal to symbol this means it will check sorry so a is equal to b so when i mention this equal to equal to 2 equal to signs it checks whether a is same as b okay so this is nothing but equal to comparison operator okay now let me 
do another thing so a so i'm mentioning exclamatory mark and equal to so it, this means a is not equal to b so let's say that in the first case it will check whether a is this a is same as b so it is not same so it will output the value as false and now here we have we are checking whether a is not equal to b so a is not equal to b hence it will output false okay so this is nothing but not equal to rent is greater than b okay so here a is less than b so it will output false for it so this is greater than symbol of course so this is greater than symbol so similarly we have other symbols right so other common symbols which is less than b so all these conditions will be compared and there is another two comparison operators which is less than or equal to b and a is greater than or equal to b okay so i'll run this so this will output either true or false so this condition will be checked and the output will be printed so first condition checks whether a is equal to b so a is not equal to b hence we are getting false and now we are checking whether a is not equal to b so it is the correct uh, condition so it gives true so similarly all these conditions will be checked so these are the comparison operators so these symbols between a and b okay now we are going to discuss about the fourth operator which is logical operators so i'll mention it here so the fourth operator is logical operators so there are three logical operators they are and or and not so they are similar to the logic gates which we, we would have studied in the higher secondary so let's say that a is equal to 10 okay so this logical operator also gives either gives boolean values so it will print either true or false and it won't give any values so numerical values okay so here we have given that a is equal to 10 so let's say that print let's say a is greater than 20 okay and a is greater than 5 so we have two conditions here and we have used a uh, logic logical operator and so what happened here is so these two conditions will be checked it will check whether a is greater than 20 so a is equal to 10 which is uh, this condition is false because a is not greater than 20 it is less than 20 so next this condition will be checked which is a is greater than 5 of course a is greater than 5 so out of these two conditions only one condition the second condition is correct and the second first condition is wrong so if we use the and operator it will give the output as true if both the conditions are true okay so in this case only one condition is true hence uh, we will get false as the output okay now i'll use or operator okay so i'm just copying the same thing but i'm just replacing this and with or okay so this or operators similarly check the two condition it will output the value as true if either one of it is true so it's it's obvious from its name so and means the both of them should be true or means either one can be true and there is another operator called as not operator so it is similar to the not get so it will inverse the values okay so let's say that a is greater than 8 so it is true and a is greater than 5 so both these conditions are true right so but this not operator will convert this or it will invert this output okay so if this uh, gives an output of true when it goes to this not operator it will be converted to false so let's run this so as you can see here we have used and operator so only one condition is true so hence we will get a false so in second condition also same the two uh, only one condition is true but we are using an or operator so we will get a true and this condition outputs a true but we are using a not so it will be inverted to false so these are the three main logical operators so and or and not okay so the fifth operator is identity operator so fifth one is 
identity operator okay the identity operator of this and this not okay so it again compares the value and gives a boolean output let's say that x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5 so both are same right so it will compare this it's print so the operator is nothing but is right so x is y so it will check whether x is the same as y and it will give either true or false so it is printing true because both of them are same right if i just do the same thing and give different value to 10 so this will give us an output of false because both of them are not same right so false so this is the identity operator is so we can do the same thing but this time with is not function so the second identity operator is is not so you can do that so this is basically opposite to this is operator okay so x is not y it, it is false because x is the same as y right so again i'll do the same but in this case i'll change this value here of course x is not y so it will give us the boolean value as true okay so it will check whether both of them are same when we are using the operator is and here it will check whether the two values are not similar okay so this is nothing but the identity operator so the finally we have this membership operator okay so membership operator checks whether a particular value belongs to a sequence of elements like list so i'll explain you this in a moment so six this membership operator okay so there are two membership operators in and not in okay so i'll put a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 10 and in c i'm creating a list so we know that list are always enclosed in square brackets right so let's create a list with the elements 1 2 3 4 and 5 now we are going to use these operators in and not in okay so I'm, this is this also gives us boolean values so i am printing the a is so a in c and i am printing b in c so as you can see here a has a value of 5 which is present in this list c b has a value of 10 which is not present in this list so this fifth line gives us an output of true whereas the next line gives an output of false okay so as you can see here this is the membership operator so this basically checks whether the first element is one of the member of the second uh, object okay so it is the uh, not in function is similar to this but it's it's actually uh, the opposite of it so i'll copy this so this will give us an inverse answer so let's say that a not in and b not in so these are keywords okay so as you can see they are blue in color so it will give an opposite result so i am just checking whether a is not in c but a is actually present in c hence we are getting a false value and here b is not in c and we, hence we are getting true value okay so this is about the membership operators so we have seen the six basic operators in python the first is the arithmetic operator so the basic mathematical operators and then we have seen various assignment operators so after that we have seen the comparison operators the equal to not equal to greater than less than symbols and then we have logical operators which are and or and not and then uh, the identity operators is and is not finally the membership operators in and not in okay so uh, that is all about the operators in python so i hope you have understood the things covered here so i'll see you in the next video thanks